I think the role of the teacher has evolved, you know, over the last, you know, 20 years or so. And if you were to look at it, uh, when, when the age when I was going to school, uh, my interaction uh, with the teacher was fairly limited to the classroom. Right? and what was happening in our context within the school area and, and in our curriculum and in our textbooks. Uh, and over time, you know, as learning management systems, virtual learning environments entered the classroom, the teacher then needed to accommodate that uh, outside world coming in, right? And, um, and, and that would have been a big shift for the teacher to be able to facilitate that kind of learning. I think now is another phase where the teacher um, has to basically leapfrog uh, from the role of just being a teacher to being a facilitator and a guide uh, to something which he or she may not have much expertise on, right? And this is asking literally the teacher to leap out of their comfort zone because their comfort zone has been in teaching their subject matter over the last 15, 20 years, whatever number of years they have been teaching. And now, uh, you know, we are expecting them to basically guide and facilitate um, teaching something which they are completely not comfortable with. And this is going to require, I think, to me, a generational shift. I don't even know if it can be achieved with uh, the majority of the teachers that we have today, uh, and it's and it's no criticism to the teachers. It's just the way things have evolved. Uh, but I think going forward, the role of the teacher has to has to change. They have no choice, right? And so, if you think about it, as the roles of teachers change, the training of uh, pre-service teachers, pre-teachers, is going to be critically important. That pre-teachers are coming out into the workforce are trained to understand that their role is no longer as the sage in the class, but to be more a guide and a facilitator. That's one. But I think the other thing is also the interaction of the student with the teacher was limited to the classroom. These days, with, with uh, social learning networks and so on, um, the, the role of that teaching and learning experience between the student and the teacher happens outside the classroom as well, in virtual networks. Uh, and, and many other platforms. And this is something that um, going forward, uh, the community must understand and must be able to adapt to. And when I speak of community, I don't just mean the teacher and the students, but parents as well. You know, this ecosystem of partners must understand that uh, the mode of teaching and learning has shifted and the student doesn't stop learning the minute the school bell rings. It actually continues into their own free and personal time.